All right, guys, welcome to another installation instruction video. Today, we're gonna go over the, the updated OM617 wiring harness. Now, I've designed a lot more efficiencies into this product so that I can keep the price down despite my um, material costs going up over the last several years. I'm getting more efficient at building these using less materials making them simpler to build and simpler to install. So since my last video where I went through and actually installed this in a Toyota pickup, I've had a lot of customers use these in other applications, which necessitated me uh, to make this more universal. So we're gonna give you a brief rundown today of how this new setup works and some of the differences from some of the older versions. So the first thing you'll notice right off the bat is this style of connector here. And so this guy here is actually a soldered shrink fit connection. So what you'll do here is you'll take your wires when you're ready to connect them. You'll strip off a little bit of wire, a little bit of insulation off each wire. Okay, so the way to use these, real simple, and anybody can do it. You don't have to have any special tools, whereas with these crimps, obviously, you got to have a crimp tool that can sufficient, uh, correctly and sufficiently crimp that, and then you hit it with a heat gun. These, real simple, you slide this over the first wire, strip some insulation off, slide this over, okay? then you're gonna twist the wires together like this. Probably the trickiest part is twisting these wires so that you have um, wire twisting on wire, not wire twisting over insulation. Okay, and then you're gonna slide this guy over the middle. Now you want this little silver band here to be centered in the middle of the wire then all you do is apply heat, okay? So we're gonna heat this up. That's gonna shrink the plastic. These red rings are gonna seal down watertight against the wire on each end. And then the silver piece in the middle is actually solder. So when you heat that up, it's going to melt and fuse into the wires, locking them together. So much, much simpler than having to go out and get your crimp tool and worry about the plastic getting too hot on this and melting through the metal sleeve on the inside. These, these are way easier to use here. That's your new style. Actually, you still have an old one here. This was the old one. So there was a metal sleeve in the center and you crimped the metal part and then you took a heat gun over the ends and these are nice. These are, these are good units if you have the proper crimp tool. But I'm trying to make this so you don't have to go out and buy another tool to install this. So here's the difference of the, the new and the old yellows as well. Okay, then when it comes to our wires here, you're gonna, this is exactly how it's going to come. These are completed kits I'm getting ready to ship out here. So this is what your kit comes with. Your blue wire has this Toyota end on it. This still plugs into the gauge cluster, just like it always has. And then this green wire, it comes um, just with the wire cut on the end. You're gonna use this inline connector that's supplied to tap into the cigarette lighter power. Um, and a Toyota that is, or if it's a, gen a generic application, it's gonna be a power source that has power in both run and accessory. And that's the cigarette lighter fuse on the Toyota. And then you have your red wire coming out with your blue and green wires. This one, you want to have 12 volts when the ignition is on. It's cut straight, so you can use one of these connectors used to use one of these spade terminals in the older kits because these plugged directly into a specific Toyota wiring harness. But again, 
we're branching out into more Toyotas and more generic swaps. Um, so we got to keep this kit a little more generic and not even all the Toyotas use these. So a lot of these were getting thrown away. And since this is a special piece from Japan, it's a pretty big waste of money to sell it with a kit if you're just gonna cut it off and throw it in the trash. So then we'll move over to our other side here. You got two black wires. They're gonna go to your electric over air solenoid for your shutoff. So that's typically the EGR solenoid from your Toyota. Again, you'll use these red shrink fittings to do all these connections here, other than the white. This white is your master ground. So I usually put a ring terminal on it. And this is a ring terminal, in case you're wondering. And then I'll just mount this underneath the mounting pad where I'm bolting this down to the fender. That's, that's the easiest way to do it. You just want to make sure, absolutely sure, that you have a good grounding connection for this white wire because this is the ground for the entire thing. If this ground is faulty, you're going to have issues. So that leaves us with blue, red, and brown. And the blue, red, and brown get connected to the blue, red, and brown from the Mercedes glow plug controller box. The purple is not used, so you can cut the purple off coming out of the Mercedes box. The blue, the brown, the red tie into these with these splices, and that's it. So, the last thing you'll probably notice if you're reading through some of the older instructions or watching the older videos that are out there still is there's no bus bar here. I used to have a bus bar, but I tell you what, it's been so long since I've used one because we were sending uh, power and ground to the bus bar. So we had two sides to the bus bar and one side was positive, one was a ground. And all we did was we sent our ignition positive to the bus bar. And then we hooked this wire up to it to send wire into this relay box. And then we drew wire, uh, we sent um, power out with this red wire. So it's like, well, what the heck? Why don't we just connect these two wires on the inside of here and eliminate the need for that positive side of that bus bar. And then for the grounding, three of these wires are grounded. It was the same thing. We have a ground on each relay, so why not hook up a wire with each relay? And now we just eliminated $20 off of the purchase price of this wiring kit. So that's why you don't see a bus bar anymore. It was just a little bit redundant and just an unnecessary thing. It's gonna be more clutter in your engine bay. Now you just have this and the Mercedes glow plug controller and it's gonna keep things looking nice and tidy in your swap. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you're happy with this kit. A lot of thought has gone into it and a lot of effort has gone into keeping this thing updated and as feasible and economical as possible. If you have any more desires, of course, you can always email me or call me and we can always work on something for your custom needs if you're working on something a little more elaborate. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in our next video.